So in this problem, we want to work with a function, a quadratic function. And that function is y minus 1 is equal to the quantity x plus 7 squared. And what we want to find on here are two points at which the tangent lines to this curve will pass through uh, the point x is negative 7, y is 0. So it would look something like that. And we're interested in finding the two points at which the tangent line to that parabola, the tangent lines to that parabola, will pass through the point x is negative 7 and y is 0. And so to do this, we're going to set up an equation. The equation is going to look like this. We have this point negative 7 comma 0 and we'll choose either one of the points. We'll call that x comma y. The slope through those two points is going to be m is equal to the change in y which is y minus 0 over change in x, which is x minus negative 7, or x plus 7. And another thing we know is that that slope has to be equal to the derivative, because the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So first of all, we're going to work on our y. We have y minus 1 is equal to x plus 7 quantity squared. We're going to multiply out the x plus 7. That's x squared plus 14x plus 49. And then we have y minus 1. So solving for y is going to give us x squared plus 14x plus 50. When we take the derivative of that, we're going to get 2x plus 14. And now what we need to do is to set the slope through the two points equal to the derivative at that point. And again, remembering the important idea that we're going to have to swap out the y. So let's rewrite this slope only in terms of y, in terms of x. We know that y is eventually going to be equal to x squared plus 14x plus 50 over x plus 7, and now we have an equation. So x squared plus 14x plus 50 over x plus 7 is equal to 2x plus 14 over 1. Cross multiplying, we're going to get x squared plus 14x plus 50 is equal to x plus 7 times 2x plus 14. And again, x squared plus 14x plus 50. Multiplying the right side out, we're going to get 2x squared plus 14x plus 14x is plus 28x, and then plus 7 times 14 is 98. When we move everything to the same side, we're going to end up with x squared plus 14x plus 48 and that's going to equal 0. And it appears that uh, the expression on the right is going to factor. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to give 48, add to give 14. I think that's x plus 6 and x plus 8. That's going to equal 0. And so our values of x are x equals negative 6 and x is equal to negative 8. That's what's going to make that uh, true. 
and we're going to plug those back into the original function. Remember y minus 1 is equal to x plus 7 squared. Plugging in x equals negative 6. We have y minus 1 is equal to negative 6 plus 7 squared, which is just 1 squared. And we're going to get y is equal to y minus 1 is equal to 1, or y is equal to 2. So x equals negative 6, y is equal to 2. Plugging in negative 8, we're going to get exactly the same result there, because negative 8 plus 7 is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, y minus 1 equals 1, y is equal to 2. So we're going to get y equals 2 on both of these. And I just want to take a second to go and show that this is going to work. Um, we're going to create the tangent lines to the curve at x equals negative 6 and x equals negative 8 and show that they both pass through negative 7 comma 0. All right, so we're at the calculator. And I'm going to go into second draw. And I'm going to use the tangent uh, option number 5 on the draw menu. And it is waiting for a, uh, an x value. So my x value is going to be negative 8. And it's going to draw a line through that. And you can see that it does indeed pass right through, or at least it appears to pass right through. x is negative 7, y is 0. And then the other tangent line, second draw, option number 5, is going to pass through negative 6. So I type in a negative 6 there. You can't see the negative on the screen there. I type in negative 6, and you're going to see we're going to get another tangent line to the curve that is going to pass also through x equals negative 7, y equals 0. So we're good with that. Okay, so that's how you solve this uh, type of a problem here. And we'll just go back and reiterate the main steps again. So we have our function. We have this point. So what we did was we set up these two points x comma y, we only needed one of them, x comma y along with our point negative 7, 0, and we wanted to find the slope of the line passing through two points. And that's just y minus 0 or y over x plus 7, x minus negative 7. Um, and then we also know that that slope has to be the same as the derivative at our point in question. So we multiplied out the function, we found the derivative to be 2x plus 14, now, in order to set the two together, we need to swap out the y and put in the function y equals. Uh, when we simplify and solve for y, that's x squared plus 14x plus 50 over x plus 7 is going to equal 2x plus 14 over 1. We cross multiplied. Cross multiplied, simplified, and we came up with x uh, plus 6 times x plus 8, so x is equal to negative 6 would be one of the x coordinates. When we plug that back into the original function, we got y equals 2. The other x coordinate was x equals negative 8. Plugging that into the original function, we also got a y equals 2. So those are our two points in question.